One of the biggest changes ever in the world of kidney disease treatment is coming. Dialysis, as we know it, may become a thing of the past, starting as soon as 2022. This man is living proof. It was pretty exciting to be chosen to do it in the first place. Catherine from W Kidney here, welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Dialysis may be a thing of the past in a really short amount of time. In today's video, I want to show you the four innovations that will make this possible. Starting from number four, the 3D printed kidney. There was a big breakthrough recently in the world of 3D printed organs. It's called BioInc and it's something that could actually lead to the creation of the first 3D printed kidney. This is what researchers from the award-winning Lewis lab at Harvard University are hoping. They are developing a 3D printed kidney made from stem cells and modeled using a special liquid material known as BioInc, which is an incredible innovation. This is actually the most advanced project in the field of regenerative medicine and could change the lives of millions of people around the world. So yes, what could be replacing dialysis in the next few years are kidneys made by a 3D printer. Just like consumer-grade 3D printers, where plastic material is deposited in layers forming the structure we want, 3D bioprinting uses a typical layer-by-layer -layer 3D printing method. The big difference will be the ink used. We are talking about a 3D bioprinter here. So, the 3D printing method most known for bioprinting is the extrusion of liquid material made from collagen, here known as bioink. This is a gel which acts as a 3D molecular scaffold for live tissue. In the case of the kidneys, this live tissue will be massing chemical stem cells. And if you think that this sounds like sci-fi, not something that could change the world of kidney disease in the next few years, Watch this! What you see here is the first full-size, completely 3D printed human heart. Amazing, isn't it? It was created by researchers at the Carnegie Mellon University. According to them, the new 3D printing process wasn't easy to develop. This is because soft materials such as collagen start out as a liquid. When such substances are printed in air, they quickly collapse. So the researchers came up with their own method to 3D print soft materials. The method uses a gelatin substance to surround the structures during the printing so they do not collapse. The team's new model heart is made from a material called arginate, a soft natural substance made from seaweed. So, yes, they already have printed a full-sized human heart and they are also using this technology for skin and bone repair. But, you know, they should have started from a kidney, in my opinion. More people have kidney disease than heart disease. The kidney is by far the most needed organ for transplant. In fact, in the US in the last 30 years, more kidney transplants have been performed than all other organ transplants combined. But probably they thought that 3D printing a human kidney wouldn't make the news. Also, the kidneys are very complex organs. They filter 140 liters of blood each day, leaving behind a liter or two of water and waste in the form of urine. Each kidney features a lattice work of roughly 1 million tiny filtering units called nephrons. Blood entering a nephron passes through a cluster of tiny vessels called the glomerulus. The thin walls of the glomerulus enable waste, water and other small molecules to pass through while blocking larger ones such as proteins and blood cells. The reason why I'm telling you this it's because 
there's been an incredible development in the making of the 3D printed kidney. Researchers from the State University of New York at Buffalo have found a way to create vascularized organs with a 3D printer. So guys, don't go away because in the next part of the video, I will give you all the info about the release dates of this breakthrough. Before, there is another incredible technology I want to show you. It has to do with sheep. Sheep on dialysis. And no, I'm not joking. There is a startup that promises to change dialysis patients' lives for good. Our number three is the world's smallest wearable kidney. This previous year, three sheep in Canada have been carrying their kidneys on their sleeves, or more properly, in jackets on their fluffy backs. These three sheep are a part of an ongoing animal exam run by the Buffalo, New York based startup Kidney Labs. Just like Kidney but with a Q, an organization pursuing waterless mobile dialysis. This device is called the Kidney D and it is a miniature dialysis machine that the patient can wear and that allows to be mobile during blood purification. It completely replaces dialysis, provides more frequent therapy and significantly improves the quality of life for patients with kidney failure who are currently on dialysis. The incredible innovation here is that they are able to purify the blood without using extra water. Existing dialysis requires 120 liters of dialysate for one session of dialysis, not something you could carry around on your back. But this system is different, incredibly small and lightweight. It's so small, the researchers from the kidney labs are already planning an implantable version of it. The way they are able to do this is thanks to a nanofilter. Researchers from the Kini lab spent two years developing a nanofilter device that mimics the filtration functions of the Kini. And it works! Kini Labs now has a device that is being tested on animal models such as sheep. That testing will continue over the next 18 to 20 months. After that, they will proceed with human trials. Our long term is for a device that can be implanted in the body, said Morteza Ahmadi, co-founder of the Kidney Labs. But initially, the first product that we hope to be able to bring to market will be an external wearable and miniaturized device that the patients will be carrying with them. And if you think this still looks like sci-fi, I want you to look at this interview. It was pretty exciting to be chosen to do it in the first place. I was amazed at how well it worked. I thought it really worked well for me anyway. It was heavy and cumbersome, <laughs> but I'd be wearing it today if I could. He was the first man on earth to use a wearable kidney instead of dialysis. He was also really happy about the way this wearable kidney performed dialysis. You see, dialysis is not very good at removing phosphorus. The wearable kidney, on the other hand, is. This could mean no more dietary restrictions, among various other things. In this picture, the first man who tested the wearable kidney is seen with a bag of Cheetos during the clinical trial. Now, this was a different project from what the researchers at the kidney labs are working on right now. It's a different kind of wearable dialysis machine that's already being tested on humans, as you can see. And it's amazing by itself already! Now guys, the reason why I really think this is gonna change our future is because, according to an estimate, over 20 million people are in need for a kidney transplant right now. But for many of them, the only option is dialysis. We are in 2021 now and do you know what changed in the way a dialysis machine works since 1978? Do you know? Nothing. Nothing changed. If you brought a patient on dialysis from 1978 forward in time, 43 years, he wouldn't have a very different experience from what they were used to. 
they may have an iPhone to read on instead of a pile of magazines and that's all. This is why even just a small step in the right direction, the wearable bikini will be a great achievement. And if you add to this the fact that there is actually a major health crisis today in terms of the shortage of organs, it's easy to understand why people are so pissed at the complete lack of progress in the treatment of kidney disease. And we are talking million people here. It's something I think about always more frequently and I really hope this kind of innovation is going to help. Now guys, as I was saying, there's a big development that's really going to speed up the development of the first 3D printed human kidney. More about this in a moment. There's a very recent news I want to show you before. Researchers at the Jocelyn Diabetes Center, an institution on the front lines of the world epidemic of diabetes, have made a startling discovery. According to them, this could be the end of kidney disease in people with diabetes. Incredible! What they found out is that elevated levels of three specific circulating proteins are associated with protection against kidney failure in diabetes. This is literally from last Wednesday. This study was published the 30th of June. Now guys, these researchers may be on the edge of a key moment in the hunt for a cure to diabetes and related loss of kidney function. These three proteins are what doctors and researchers call a biomarker. A biomarker is just a substance, a level that can be measured during lab tests, which is indicative of a disease. Or like in this case, with the non-progression of a disease. In fact, in this study, people with diabetes with elevated concentrations of three specific proteins had zero progression of kidney disease, which is incredible in my opinion. This basically means two things. First, testing these proteins can tell a diabetes patient if they're going to have kidney problem in the future. Second, a prevention for diabetic kidney disease could be engineered in the near few years. Guys, I'm really waiting for a follow-up on this study because, as you may already know, diabetes is the number one cause in the world of kidney disease. This incredible breakthrough can be used to create a medicine or a therapy to completely stop kidney disease progression in people with diabetes. Amazing! So guys, be sure to set the notification bell to all for my channel if you want me to keep you updated about this. And before I show you our number one for today, here's why I think the 3D printed kidney may be a reality sooner than people think. A team of scientists from the University of Buffalo has developed a new 3D bioprinting technique that is up to 50 times faster than the second best methods available. The researchers have thus managed to reduce the time required to create a cell-laden hydrogel structure to just 19 minutes from the average 6 hours. Incredible! Notably, the researchers' new approach uses a combination of a 3D printing process called stereolithography that uses a laser beam to fabricate a structure layer by layer and hydrogel that acts as cell support while facilitating the formation of an ideal tissue. Aside from being fast and efficient, the method is perfect for printing cells with building blood vessels networks, which is clearly crucial for the development of implantable organs. And blood vessels networks fabricated through 3D printing allow the institution of burial functions like those the human kidney has. This project shows a rapid 3D hydrogel printing method and represents a first step toward the fabrication of large-sized engineered tissue models. Now, the number one reason why I think dialysis could be a thing of the past in a matter of years 
is the bio artificial implantable kidney from the University of California, San Francisco. This is an implantable lab-made kidney that promises to do exactly what the human kidneys do. They are testing the hemofilter, a key part of the artificial implantable kidney, right now in a series of tests aimed at receiving FDA approval to implant this device on human already in 2022. There was a big update about it recently. I'll talk more in depth about this in my video up here. Okay guys, as usual, a new video is coming next Friday. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.